How are people affording life right now? A lot don't afford life right now. My neighbor to my left currently has four adults two kids living out of her two bedroom. Actually I'm the only one in my fourplex who doesn't run a shelter out of their apartment every now and then for extra cash. Several people I know have become homeless. A bunch of people I know are new poor and refuse to change their lifestyle so are on the verge of being homeless. Myself I'm the type of person who will recycle cans out of the trash before I let myself go into debt etc. But for now I do a lot of gig work, cut my expenses, buy in bulk. Just working and paying bills. Like I have for my entire adult life. There are a lot of people that are terrible with money. People that confuse the amount of money they have with the amount of money they have to spend. People who have all the latest technology, but allege they can afford to eat. Not that there aren't people that run into legit financial situations. Simply stating that poor financial literacy is one of the biggest factors to people struggling financially. I grow up poor so I know how to live frugally and when I increased my income I didn't fall in the same trap a lot of people do with lifestyle creep so my income goes up but my expenses barely changed which allows me to save. That savings allows me to buy things in bulk which usually gets me better pricing or pay things like in 6-12 month installments versus the monthly basis which usually offers better pricing which all helps in saving more money as well. Luck and nothing else. My partner's friend happened to be able to get him a decently paying job in a tech company, and my Phil owns a single second property that he rents to us for cheap. If it weren't for these two instances of extreme luck I don't know how we'd be staying afloat. But even with all this luck. We could never entertain affording children. We don't eat out, turn down the heat, have pets that don't require grooming that we have to pay for I can bathe in myself and don't have cable or pay for streaming services. In a year we'll add my wife's salary to my husband's salary and have two people working in one home to make the most of it. Polyamory does have some financial advantages. Family situation, but we have a union job as the main breadwinner. They just negotiated about a $50 an hour raise to keep up with the company's growth. No fucking clue how anyone survives without union benefits. Or not. A lot of it is on credit that many of us present company included don't have and we're winging it knowing full well it'll come due soon enough. When that day comes we're all going to be screwed. If it makes any feel any better I'm a licensed electrician, I'm cracking out 60-70 hours a week, doing odd jobs and trying to be a father and I'm not even cutting close SMH so much for the American dream SMH. Paycheck to paycheck like everyone else. But I also have a roommate. We help each other out with everything. I know there's no way I could do it all on my own otherwise. Work and manage your money. It's not hard. People just don't know how to manage money. I'm poor. Let's buy the last iPhone and get a dog and two kids. Yeah, smart. Work and manage your money. It's not hard. People just don't know how to manage money. I'm poor. Let's buy the last iPhone and get a dog and two kids. Yeah. Smart. By realizing that having money and savings is a pipe dream. Sure, I could have absolutely no hobbies and have a tiny pile of worthless money in a dark corner. You can afford life if you're poor by making good choices. Such as not having children you can afford. Best damn adult decision I made was to not reproduce. I am not alive. I am actively dying. That process also comes with financial problems though. So I just try everything and see what I can get away with. Paycheck to paycheck. Occasional use of credit cards, student loans, payday loans. Whatever we have to do to make it. Something gotta give. I'd be seen the last two times I've had hot dogs my body decided it doesn't like pork anymore. My food options are dwindling. No clue. Everything is so expensive. I can't get out as the grocery store without spending at least $200. It's crazy. Luckily earning more than we spend, nearing our financial goals in life. Aiming for debt-free retirement by 2028. It's really not easy. I have a career, a home, but I keep waiting for the other shoe to drop any day now. About a third of adults working full-time in the UK are finding it hard to pay their household bills. Month to month for most. We really have very little control overall if you think deeply about it. No kids, live with parents, make 125k. We'll never afford a home but I guess that's life. Single, replace heat out with evening walks and eat irregularly the savings do add up. Honestly my spending habits haven't changed since before COVID I'm just fortunate. I've always lived below my means. That's not any different now. Stealing? Just kid. Rent control and no kids. Just a dog. No AC when it's 81 degrees out the next week in the 60. No kids, having a job, and not living in a major city.